Huh. Alright, so this is the 2017 Matchbox Work Horses Construction Slash Farm box set. Here without the grill glare. With a six wheeler. I like the digger. And apparently there was a revision done to this trailer. And we're going to hopefully see what kind I have. Um, as usual from this era of Matchbox's five packs, there is no name for the box set given. You just sort of have to know it. There's a case code there in the middle. We'll scan down the production information so you can pause sorry about the glare to get that vital statistical data which doesn't include the name of the vehicles a weak spot in their delivery if I might say I believe I picked this up at a Wegmans grocery store in the Syracuse area very reasonable price $5.99 um, and my new rule is that if you buy a five pack you open it or else you leave it sitting there no more no more unopened five packs in my in my collection there just isn't enough room no matter how many cars or how few cars there are there just isn't enough room, and we're trying to preserve the packaging material to make a parody line of cars for an art project. That also means a parody package to go with them. So this has no further information on what we can make use of, and here are our vehicles. Let's get right to this business with the farm trailer. There was an under bar toe brace on earlier versions. So what does the under bar toe look like? Now you have your pick on father. Miles and miles and miles. Here's our stampage. Nice view. Thai elephant up there at the top. Um, all right, it rolls. Nice hitch. Go on the Unimog or something like that. Yeah, I'll enjoy this. I like vehicles that do things, even if it's just pulling a trailer. Uh, let's see. Go with this guy next. Oh, that's cute. Look at this. Look at this cute little little thing. Ah, what is this? What is this little puppy named? This is simply called Skidster, which I'll be able to see during uh, editing, and we'll tighten it up a little bit. Um, and that is just darling. I, I am I am delighted to have this vehicle in my collection it doesn't have to do anything for me other than just exist but let's try rolling it Woo! Huh. that was nice let's try it against a a, a, a six by six a tv six by six oh it takes right off feels heavier too let's reverse the positions how about that that thing hauls ass I remember we used to be able to drive around in the uh, shooter game Sin using using the uh, vehicles in, in Deathmatch, and I made a Deathmatch level just for uh, forklifts, although this is not. Anyway, I'm in love with this thing. Gorgeous little vehicle. This monster comes next. This, uh, this is called... Dirt Destroyer, so I guess it's a 
It's a Matchbox original, a fantasy construction vehicle. There's some stampage there for you to go over. And now I remember putting this down in uh, Walmart the other day in a forest green configuration. I did not understand what it was. So now I know what this is and I like it better in red. Got the Tonka truck thing going on. Interesting vehicle. We'll insert this later. Just wanted to demonstrate how indeed the trailer is very nicely pulled by the Dirt Destroyer, a name I do not care for one bit. Not bad at all. Does the dump truck have a hitch? Dump truck has a hitch too. So you can really load up there on the uh, <clears throat> materials and take them off to the dump. All right, back to the video. And I guess this is what's meant to, to haul the, uh, the trailer. Because there's our trailer hitch. Diggers. I like diggers. This is... This is these, these, I like the uh, Matchbox construction line. I do not like the articulation constraints on their uh, accoutrements like that. Um, that wouldn't have survived my childhood. That would have been destroyed. Believe it or not, this probably would have. Mostly because it's so adorable. I would have taken care of it. Um, it but it feels a little bit less breakable. Where that, you know, if you're walking across the room and you fall, holding this and you fall, it's probably going to snap right off and stab you. I'll insert this too. This pivots very, very nicely on top of that. So we can actually drive in either direction, which helps me to forgive the flimsy nature of the scoop. Back to it. Uh, let's see here. There's our stampage. I'm already seeing a 2013 date on the vehicle which is called the ground grabber I actually kind of like that that's a good name because it's describing what it does it grabs the ground and pulls clumps of it up and it's even got the fast roller wheels on it um, not bad let's try it against the uh, Orange Oshkosh ATV holds its own. All right, we'll get out the big guns. This is a basically solid metal casting by Hot Wheels called Radar Ranger, and it holds its own. That's a quick little vehicle, and I like the uh, white and green color scheme, but again. That wouldn't have survived their childhood. And kids, you know, kids kids' hearts can be broken by things like that. Just having the arm break off. But here we go. The space truck from the uh, collection. Three uh, six-wheelers are just by nature space trucks. And this is a gorgeous dump truck. The color schemes are all correct. I like the little isolated cab. And it was simply called Dump Truck. One of their less imaginative names. Let's uh, get some assist from the flashlight for the stampage on this one. Get all that information. And I can already tell that this thing is going to roll like a beast. Go for it. Hot. Here we go. Wow. Takes him out. One more time. Six wheelers. I love them. Those are... Those are impressive vehicles. And I got an Aldous Stalwart 
Alvis Stalwart with a gorgeous BP uh, British Petroleum logo coming in at some point in the next week or two. Can't wait to see it. That's not part of that set. That is. That is. And I, I'm going to say it again. This is the scene stealer. Gorgeous little vehicle. After action report. And that really is a nice little set. The colors are all great. Um, I'm concerned about this vehicle being a little bit flimsy. Um, spinning here of the top is a little bit looser than I'd like. Um, and I also got a, a, a sense of the dump truck here. This seems a little bit weak in the back. Uh, again, kids, kids' hearts get broken when things like that snap off. Um, and therapy can sometimes be required to simply teach them that things break unless you really take care of them. Like my uh, cast resin piece here from uh, undergraduate work at Syracuse. I learned resin casting and been thinking about it as I've been approaching this idea of at least altering uh, vehicles by painting them in some way. I love this stuff just is going to stay the way it is. And I cannot speak highly enough of this gorgeous little lifter thing. What's it called? Skidster. Right. Whatever. That was a mistake, Charlie. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. They're just the right size. Look at that tampo design there on the side. Nice detailing inside of the cab with a seat and some controls. Uh, this would have gone to school with me every day for a, a couple of weeks at least. Until I was told not to bring it back anymore. It's that cool. And that's what we're after here. So, nice space truck. Good uh, hauling material. Interesting design ideas. We'll enjoy putting it to work in an art project celebrating toys. Ash, can you see this?